nephrology is that branch of medicine which deals with kidney diseases, medical part of it. The nephrologists deal with the kidneys which are involved in the formation of urine and so many other functions. While the urologist deals with the system which once the urine is formed by the kidney and that is collected in the system and then there is drained away. So that means the lower part of the kidneys is part of the kidney and mainly they deal with sort of surgical part of it. The common kidney disease ailments are, you know, uh, like uh, glomerulonephritis, a very common disease as such, and uh, that can be primary disease affecting the kidney, where the reasons are immunological, that there is some defect in the immune system of the body, and people get kidney diseases. But this can be also because of secondary causes, and the commonest secondary causes for causing so-called nephrotic syndrome or say kidney disease is diabetes all over the world and uh, diabetes is the major cause of kidney disease throughout the world and cutting across all caste, creed, socioeconomic status. Next comes hypertension, high blood pressure. High blood pressure is also very important cause of uh, kidney failure. Then next in the order are like especially in this part of country, in northern part of India, renal stone disease that is also fairly common and after that disease comes diseases which are with which people are many people are born like uh, polycystic kidney diseases or other abnormalities of uh, kidneys which are congenital in nature you know. these are mainly yeah, there are a lot many but they do not account for major cause of kidney failure or kidney disease As I told you earlier also, the first people, at those who have got diabetes and hypertension, they almost accounts for 65% of population of chronic kidney disease. So they are major two important causes. All of that diabetes itself costs about 35 to 40% and rest say about 20 to 25% is accounted by hypertension. Yeah, you know, firstly, I think it is very important that uh, to institute sort of preventive nephrology. That is the cry of today, this century. And uh, I feel that all students, when they enter in the, say, in a primary level, in the, when they take admission in the school, if some other we can institute, if we, if we can do only some routine urine examination, or let us say ultrasound cost today nothing, you know. And if let us say I, I feel that I will go to that extent that even if, there's, if the school have got tie up with some ultrasound, you don't need just do. Then you can screen a lot of simple urine examination and simple ultrasound can detect a lot of disease which will remain undetected for years together. They can be detected very early when precautionary measures can be taken. Some of them can be prevented totally or at least their course can be delayed actually. One must have his blood pressure checked up, his or her blood pressure checked up. Urine examination, that is another simple urine examination must be done in all patients. Then of course if blood urea, creatinine, they are also a crude method of testing. And if there is some, you know, sort of suspicion by doctors, then they can go for final test for them. But some routine test must be carried out by everybody. You know, for normal kidneys, every diet is, there is no diet is required as such. Normal kidneys, they require normal diet. We have got normal, balanced diet, you know. But somebody wants to get kidney diseases, then they should not take high-protein diet in case, you know, low, you know. And that I will just say here that uh, it is, that they should take a specific amount, more, not more than that amount of protein. And I don't want to create a sort of uh, myth here in this country. In this country, most of us always are already, already taking that sort of protein. We are not taking very high protein, right? Because most of us are practically vegetarian. Even when we take non-vegetarian food, that is not a very 